Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced React WordPress Theme Development. Uh, in this episode, we are going to learn about something really interesting. Now when you are creating a headless WordPress CMS where you have React in the front end and WordPress in the back end, one of the features that doesn't come out of the box is the preview, right? The post preview or the page preview. So if I click on one of these pages, let's say this one and if I click on preview you'll notice that it's going to open the WordPress backend preview page right and that's not what we really want what we really want is it should go to our front end and show us the preview of that particular page right so how do we do that so in this uh, tutorial we're going to learn about how to create the preview so let's say if you have a, this page and if you click on preview we are going to redirect the user to the front end. You can see over here with the post type name and the post ID. And because the draft post is only accessible uh, in the WordPress environment when the user is logged in, however, the front end does not have information about whether the user is logged in or not because the user on the front end is not authenticated so frontend is your react application and it's completely decoupled with your backend so that's why it doesn't have any information so we're going to implement one of the features that most of you have asked me about which is authentication uh, however this authentication is purely going to be for the preview so what we would expect to happen is that if the user goes to this particular url uh, which is the preview url so once the user enters the username and password is going to make a request to the WordPress backend with that information, we are going to get the JWT in response and we are going to store the auth token into the cookie. Okay. And then finally, when you click on this, uh, it's going to verify if the user is logged in, which means if the auth token is present in the cookie, if it is, that means we can redirect the user to that page. So now you can see it goes to the page preview with the ID of 30 and we are fetching the data of that uh, post uh, and we are getting the preview information, right? And now if you go ahead and try out any others because you are logged in, so let's say this one and now you'll be able to see that it does not ask you to log in. Why? Because you've already authenticated yourself and of course that authentication token is going to be valid for a certain period of time and until then uh, on you are considered as logged in on onto the front end you do not need to authenticate yourself over and over again similarly here as well as long as the authentication token is valid you'll be able to see the preview options okay so what's happening over here is that once the user logs in if the user is authenticated is redirected to the correct preview page uh, with the post ID for that draft and then what happens is that uh, we check if the auth token is present in the cookie on server side and it will be HTTP only cookie so it's more secure uh, compared to storing into local storage and then on server side itself we pass that auth token and we pass it as authorization headers in the request that goes to get this preview page. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to start building the preview functionality from scratch. See you in the next video.